Mississippi State offensive tackle Charles Cross reminds me of Laramie Tunsil. You go back and look at the tape, it's hard to find a guy who's got that sort of size and that sort of fluidness in his pass sets. And Cross might be the best pass protector of any of the tackles in this year's draft class. Now, Laramie Tunsil obviously had some issues off the field. That's not the case for Charles Cross. There shouldn't be any issues whatsoever. I do expect him to be a top 10 pick. Still some things to work on. Probably some of his run blocking. He wasn't asked to do that a ton at Mississippi State at the end of his tenure there. Uh, But he's one of the best pass protectors coming into the league. Boye Mafe out of the University of Minnesota is an absolute beast when he comes screaming off the edge, terrorizing opposing quarterbacks. He's got quick bursts off the ball and great strength and athleticism going against tackles, which he made look like he was playing against junior high guys coming off the edge. I still think he needs to develop a a repertoire a little bit solid, much like Bud Dupree of the NFL has done in his tenure with the Tennessee Titans and before that with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Mafe, I think, translates more to the Dupree before he tore his ACL. I think he could be a sack specialist at the next level. Team puts him in the right scheme. Got to get stronger against the run protection, much like a lot of these edge rushers. But he is going to be terrorizing quarterbacks at the next level, just like he was in college. Michigan State running back Ken Walker is one of those guys that's just a chain mover. That's what he is. You put you put on the tape and you watch him, and there's five, there's six, there's seven, maybe there's a 20. He's not an explosive runner, though he can rip off the long run, but he runs tough, he runs hard, he runs physical. Not a big guy, so that's concerning. Didn't catch a lot of passes out of the backfield, so that's also concerning. But when I look at his tape, he reminds me of another five foot nine running back that played a long time in the National Football League. That guy is Frank Gore, and that's high compliment, high praise uh, for Ken Walker, who put up a lot of numbers and big numbers at Michigan State. I think he can do the same on the next level. Cincinnati's Kobe Bryant spent most of his college career in the shadows of his teammate and fellow corner, Sauce Gardner. But it was actually Bryant who won the Jim Thorpe Award in 2021 as college football's best defensive back. He reminds us very much of Bryce Hall when he was coming out of Virginia a few years ago, because at six foot one and 200 pounds with long arms, Bryant definitely will check the size requirements that most teams have for the outside cornerback position. And as a three-year full-time starter in that Bearcats defense with plenty of productivity on film, he feels like one of the more high floor cornerbacks in this draft class. As far as weaknesses, Bryant simply doesn't have the elite traits, the change of direction ability, or the downfield speed that indicates he will be able to cover opposition's number one wide receivers once he's in the NFL. What's up, everybody? Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook here, talking to Tariq Woolen, the outstanding cornerback from UTSA, 6'4", 205, tore up the combine, and reminds me a lot of Trayvon Diggs when he was coming out of Alabama. The reason why his upside potential is through the roof, as he's only two years into playing the cornerback position after moving over from wide receiver. He plays a big man's game and is able to close and also cloud windows up in the passing game when he's on the sideline. He's very tough to stack and track because of his excellent speed. He ran a 4-2 at the combine. Now, he's more straight lineish in terms of fast, not an overly sudden player, and a lot of that is due to the fact that he's 6'4", and is no different than a wide receiver getting in and out of his breaks, and he knows the route. This is a guy that has to work on just the finer parts of playing the cornerback position, but otherwise, the talent is outworldly. Ohio State edge rusher Tyreek Smith is one of my favorite sleeper prospects at any position in this draft class. He gives me glimpses of Arden Key, who's taken some time to develop in the NFL, but become a very good inside out rusher. With Smith coming from Ohio State, you know he's been very well coached on the nuances of beating blockers in a variety of ways. And I think his pass rush move arsenal is as developed as a lot of first round edge rushers that will be picked 
way in front of him. There is some good speed and bend around the corner with Smith's game. He's just not very capable as a run defender. He's really a pass rushing specialist that will not provide much for his defense on first downs. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.